13th October 1917, one of 20th century's most amazing miracles took place in a small town in Portugal. It was a miracle like those read about in the Bible during the time of Moses. And this miracle was seen by a crowd estimated to be between 30,000 and 100,000 people and was reported in the secular media of the time. The crowd ranged from faithful believers to socialists who were angered by the idea of there being a God. There are many accounts of what happened. This series will present a reading of the autobiography of Lucia, one of the three children who saw the visions of the Virgin Mary. She not only described what she saw in the apparitions, but also what happened to the children leading up to and after the miracle? I was accompanied by Francesco and his brother John. We were with the sheep in a place called Valinos when we felt something supernatural approaching and enveloping us. Suspecting that Our Lady was about to appear to us and feeling sorry lest Jacinta might miss seeing her, we asked her brother to go and call her. As he was unwilling to go, I offered him two small coins and off he ran. Meanwhile, Francesco and I saw the flash of light, which we called lightning. Jacinta arrived, and a moment later, we saw Our Lady on a holmoak tree. What do you want of me? I want you to continue going to the Cova di Iria on the 13th, and to continue praying the Rosary every day. In the last month, I will perform a miracle, so that all may believe. What do you want done with the money that the people leave in the Kova da Iria? Have two litters made. One is to be carried by you and Jacinta and two other girls dressed in white. The other is to be carried by Francisco and three other boys. The money from the litters is for the festa of Our Lady of the Rosary and what is left over will help towards the construction of a chapel that is to be built here. I would like to ask you to cure some sick persons. Yes, I will cure some of them during the year. Then, looking very sad, Our Lady said, Pray, pray very much and make sacrifices for sinners. For many souls go to hell because there are none to sacrifice themselves and to pray for them. <laughs> <laughs> 